you all probably know the shearing tool built into Blender. It is extremely helpful for creating pipes or edges without distortion for example. But if you look for it in the geometry node menu, you won't be able to find anything similar on the first glance. Today I will show you how you can create this effect yourself after the intro. We are now in Blender 3.6 and at first I would like to explain what shearing actually means and how it's calculated before we start with the actual tutorial. If you want to start a tutorial straight away, feel free to skip this part. During shearing, a point is displaced parallel to a shear line or axis. Let's assume that this is our shear line and we are looking at this point over here. So we can draw a parallel line to our shear line, which contains our original point. And now we want to shear our point from a given angle. To do this, we need a distance of the point to the perpendicular base of our shear line and subtract the given angle from it. We continue to track the newly created line until it intersects with the parallel line. And that's the point where we want to move the original point to. The distance between the intersection point and the original point is the final value by which we must move the point along the shear line. All right, we are in Blender now and the first thing we want to do is we want to make a selection for our face which we want to shear. And we can do this by using an index node and a math node which we set to modulo, set this to 2 and then we can grab a compare, set to equal and integer. And that's basically our mask for our side over here and over here. So if we change this to not equal, it will be the opposite. And the next step would be to determine the center of our selected area. So the shear axis should be always centered, so that's why we're doing this. And we can do this by grabbing a separate geometry node, set to point and connect those up. So you can see we separated our area and then we can use a bounding box and using the min and max values which we add together and scale by 0.5 we will get the vector that's pointing directly into the center of our area, like so. And the next thing we want to do is basically yeah, we want to capture our position of each vertex. So capture attribute, set to vector and then plug this right into it. And yeah we continue by grabbing another vector map set to subtract and if we subtract the scale of our position vector we are getting a vector that's pointing from the center straight to our individual points and this vector is very important because we want to project this vector onto the x and y plane so connect those two up and then grab a separate XYZ and a combine nope, and a combine XYZ and just uh, connect the first two inputs so X and Y and then connect those two up again so and what this vector is probably or it is basically the vector that's projected from this vector onto the x and y plane so we are getting this vector right here and all we want to have is basically the vector that is perpendicular to this line over here and we want to get the distance between those vectors and we can do this by grabbing a distance from this one and this vector and that's could be everything that's 
usable, but probably you notice that some points are also below the X and Y plane or our shearing axis. So we have to determine which point these are. So we can use a compare node, set to vector, now set to float and if it's less than zero, and then we can use a subtract vector map and look up if the projected vector is uh, smaller than zero. And if so, we will switch between this vector and the same vector but multiplied by minus one. So it's pointing in the other direction. And yeah, that's basically the whole thing. Everything that's left is a set position node. And the selection would be our first selection too. The position input, you can use a position or you can keep it empty. And the offset is basically this one, but it's not uh, quite done yet because we have to multiply. So grab another math node. We have to multiply this one by our angle. So grab a value node, which functions as our val angle value. And then if you have a look, we have this vector over here. That's this one. And then we have a given angle. And with that, this vector. And we want to know how long this distance is. So we have to multiply this by the tangent of our of our angle. So grab another math node, set to tangent, and connect those two up. And then we also need a shearing axis, so grab a vector node, and then we can use another vector math, set to multiply, and connect those two up. And that's basically the whole thing, and that's our offset. So let's track those inputs over here and use, yeah, let's group those two together. So we can rename the inputs too. So this would be our angle and you can set the subtype to angle as well. And this is our axis. Like so. And if you have a look at it right now. So let's get rid of the annotations also in here. And all we have to do is set our shearing axis. So in this case, Y, and then we should be able to shear. So we can remove this value and this value actually, because we can set it right into here. So let's say 45 degrees on the Y axis and you want 45 degrees on the y axis, or let's say minus 45, so the opposite. Um, one thing you should keep in mind that you have to apply the rotation first. If you created an object in the scene, if you created it in geometry nodes, you don't have to do it. Um, yeah, and let's extrude the mesh. Yeah, the faces, and yet let's use the same as our selection. So let's say uh, set this to equal nope, like this into the selection uh, no yeah let's use the index and our and if it's equal so we can try an arrow like this. So this is the face we want to extrude and we extrude it by zero and then we want to set the position of it upwards of the top face. And now you got your beautiful sheared pipe or whatever you wanted to make. So we can extrude it again from the top face and then we can move it for example here at the y-axis and then you can use the same shearing 
on the top face to say by minus 4 to 5 and you're good to go. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this node. If you have any improvements, please write it on Discord or in the comments. So feel free to join my Discord server for further information and if you find this helpful, consider subscribing so I can continue to make free content for everyone. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.